Welcome to Module 3, Development. At the stage of development, you now have to put into writing all that you've designed. What you have designed in Module 2 is what you are now going to be translating into writing in the form that the student will be able to assess it. The design stage could be likened to the architectural design drawings whereby the development will liken it when you are putting the drawings into the physical structure that will be called the house. Because at the design stage, yes, it is a house, but it's a house on paper you cannot live in. But you have put where the toilet will be, where the different things will be, you put them into the design. That is what we have done in module 2. Now we are in module 3. The module 3 is now saying, now what you have designed on paper, put it in the physical form. And what are these things we need to do when we are developing? Right here, there are three, uh, six things, six, about six, seven things we need to do. First, you look at what I have designed, how will I structure it? Now, you could think of adopting, adapting. What do I mean? If you want to use uh, adopting, which is the first boss up to the left, what are we saying? Probably you have identified a material somewhere and you feel, oh, this material is good. It's written by another university. Let me adopt it. It means you're not going to change anything in that material. You're going to use that course material in the form that it is. But before you choose, whether you are adapting, ad adopting and the right writing or badging, you must pick your design. Align your design with this material and ensure that everything you have in the design meets with what you have in the material. It is only there you can say, okay, let me take the option of adopting. However, remember there are other criteria you need to uh, consider before you go for adopting, because sometimes it could be more, even more expensive or you'll be paying to the host institution their own seats. It could be more expensive. Then secondly, you could think, let me adapt. In the area of adapting, in this case, you are going to change some certain things, some content might even change, examples will change, you want to contextualize it because what you are adopting is written to meet the environment where the students are. But right now you are bringing it into a different environment, so you want to contextualize it. So in the process of contextualizing it, you are going to drop some things and add some other things. So when you are doing this, you discover that Again, you need to cross-check what you have in your design. How much percentage of it will you need to have a change? And the host institution may have told you, agreed on the total number of percentage you can adapt. So if it goes beyond the total number of percentage, it means adaptation will not work. Now, badging, which is the next box. In badging, you are not doing much changing. It's in between adopting and ad adapting. In this case, you are just removing some certain things. For example, let's assume University A want to add, uh, badge a material from University B. Then if B has their logo in the material, A can decide with the contract agreement. Can I decide, well, let me remove the logo and replace it with their own house logo, the A logo. And you could change the names there. Maybe instead of using Rice, using Stone, using uh, John, using Mark, you can decide to say, okay, I want to change Mark to Adeboye, change Joe's to Olugbenga, and so on. These are the area of badging. Then where these three do not fit in, you means you have to write from the scratch. And really writing from the scratch makes your work, makes your test, more suitable for your students because you've really considered everything about your students especially when you were doing your design remember you have known whom they are by looking at their learning characteristics you have known whom they are you've been able to assess them to know their learning ability you've been able to assess them to know their learning environment so when all these are in place definitely it will be better for you to write from this scratch now, when writing from the scratch, there are certain things you need to consider. The language style, it is very key. When you are writing, you say you. 
you use the word you, it is very, very important. Reason being that when you are using we, you are not personalizing it. You need to use the third person pronoun you. And when you say you and the student is reading or the student is listening to you, maybe if it is a recorded uh, video or audio, the student feels, oh, my teacher is talking to me. Although it's online, but it's feeling your presence. Remember, when we are looking at the theory, we talk about community presence. We talk about the social presence. All this must come in because these students you are teaching, they need to socialize even in their learning environment. You know so well that in this area, they don't have the opportunity to meet one-on-one -on -one with you as a teacher. Whereas if you are to be in the classroom, they could be having eye-to-eye -eye contact with you and the rest of them. So all that they need to be able to socialize in terms of language, we must use it appropriately. And even when we are writing, we are designing assignments, how are we going to use the language? We must use them appropriately. Then we must use simple language, simple words. You don't need to use words that before a student finished reading a sentence, he would have carried dictionary three times. If that happened, that student will easily get discouraged. I will not want to continue with that particular course. Now, presentation style. The word you're going to use to present your work. It matters a lot. Because when you are right, that's why we have house format. Now, National Open University of Nigeria has a house format. Every other institution, they have their own house format. You most adhere to a house format. Let it be that when that student pick a course A, it will be the same presentation with course D in the same program or even in the same university. It is very, very paramount. Because when this happens, it helps the student to learn better and achieve better and will be able to apply at the appointed time.